Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I give God the praise and the worship, the glory and the honor on this blessed Thursday. Uh, as always, welcome to the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. It is truly a blessing to wake up and see another day. I thank God for the life that is in his presence and i thank god for his son jesus and through the power of god we have hope in him and i thank god for that uh it is truly a blessing to uh take faith a day at a time and to be into position and alignment with god on a daily basis amen it is a new day and I encourage all of you to keep God first in this day and overcome the weapons of the enemy through his son, Jesus. Amen. Um, it is truly a blessing to be used by God as a instrument to speak biblical truth and salvation and deliverance into the lives of those that are seeking uh, change in your life. Amen. I thank God for those of you who support this channel and uh, thank God for you. Thank God for your comments and those of you um, who understand that the biblical truth uh, flows on this channel and many others. We thank God for your support. Amen. Um, it is evident that there are people still who still understand that the holiness of God is still right. It is the way and the only way. Amen. Um, so let's go ahead and, 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 and be encouraged on this morning. And I want to encourage those of you who are on the battlefield of the Lord. Those of you who have denied your own flesh. You have denied your own will. And you've inherited the will of God. And you have a hunger to speak biblical truth, wherever God has placed you, rather God is using you in a ministry, um, passing out Bible tracts, house worship, um, rather God is using you on your job, within your family, helping the poor and those in need, wherever God is, has, 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 has positioned you, even those of you who are being used on social media, I thank God for all of you. And my prayer is that you would continue to allow the light of God to shine through you and press forward in your calling. Do not let the enemy frustrate you from your calling. The enemy wants as many souls as he can get in hell. And we must have spiritual urgency daily to, uh, uh, in hopes that someone would be delivered. My prayer is that this channel would be that of a a uh, spiritual refuge to where those people can come to and the real issues are addressed. Amen. I thank God for using me to talk to you and not talk at you because I truly understand that it is about souls. Amen. Glory to God. So there's a word from the Lord this morning that I want to relay or transmit in your life amen there is a specific audience a specific group of people that i really want to encourage on this morning and also declare spiritual accountability in your life amen so today i want to talk about deliverance from masturbation okay i want to talk to you about that deliverance from masturbation uh self-pleasure that is not of God. Now, I'm fully unaware that there are those of you who have been delivered from masturbation or there are some of you to where this isn't your uh, struggle at the moment. And I pray that you would stay the course. And I ask that you would pray for those who are really struggling in this area, begin to intercede uh, for them. Now, there's a scripture that comes to mind as I minister this is that I can do the word declares that I can do all things through Christ with which strengthens me. I'm going to post that under the description box of this content 
for biblical reference for many of you. Amen. Uh, I sense in the spirit that there are so many of you who are struggling in this area. And I really want to minister to you uh, on this day to know that God loves you and the love that God has for your life is so greater than what your human mind can fathom or even understand. I want you to know that deliverance is available right now and you can overcome it through genuine repentance and a relationship with God through prayer, fasting, and Bible study and a hunger um, a hunger to deny your flesh. So there's a part that you're going to have to play in this. And one of the things I've learned is that when it comes to deliverance, God is never going to make us be delivered. You have to want it. You have to want to be delivered from masturbation. You have to want it. You got to really want it and be willing to deny yourself. Amen. And some of you, there are many doors that are are open in so many of your lives that many of you are unaware of. Whenever we masturbate, we now give the devils and evil spirits the legal grounds or the legality to initiate spiritual failure into our lives. Now, let me travel back to the book of uh, Genesis. Um, the enemy had no authority none whatsoever until Adam and Eve ate off the tree. Now, let's just say that if Adam and Eve would have never touched that tree, there would have not been any separation from God from, from God and man at that moment. You must understand the enemy's ob objective is to su seduce you and to manipulate you into thinking that the very thing that God said, stay away from, to think that it is okay. And that is what he does. And this is why you have these agents of the devil in these poor pits that would have you thinking that it's okay to, to, to engage in sexual immorality as long as you believe in God or as long as you was baptized in water or you said the sinner's prayer. They want to have you believing that just because Jesus died on the cross for all of your sins, past, present, future, that it is okay to live in this. Let me tell you, this God loves you, and no sin shall enter into the kingdom of God. You must understand that, that we must live a holy life in every area because God loves us, but God hates sin. I'm going to say that again. God loves us very much, but God hates sin. And this is why the Bible says that we must be ye holy for he is holy. And we must present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Hallelujah. Mm. Which is our reasonable service. We are to inherit the likeness of God because evidence of spiritual growth is when you begin to hate the very things that God hates. When you begin to hate masturbation and masturbation now becomes something that is that is disgusting to you. It, it, it went from self-pleasure to now disgusting. At that point, you are growing. And I'm a living witness that deliverance is available right now, even in this area. Now, some of you, the Lord, you feel the conviction. You feel God calling you to stop. But many of you, your flesh is over. Your flesh is getting the best of you and the enemy and your flesh are working together to keep you in this uh, sexual sin. Many of you are struggling because of, of impure things that you're watching and impure things that you're listening to. And I'm going to deal with, uh, with uh, uh, demonic entertainment. Many of you who are struggling in this area need to be extremely careful with what you listen to. Some of you are playing sexual music, uh, R&B music, and that, that content is entering, is being downloaded into your spirit putting all these lustful thoughts. Now, 
through our natural man, playing worldly music seems to be normal. That's what the enemy does. He wants to normalize sin and have you thinking it's okay. Now, this sexual music has been downloaded in your spirit and it uh, activates or enables spirits of lust to hoover around you waiting for an opportunity. That's why the word declares don't neither give place to the devil. And this is why you must be very careful. And the Lord has really been dealing with me about this lately. Be careful what, what you watch and be careful what you listen to. And there are some of you that are watching highly aggressive sexual content on TV. And those things are downloaded in your spirit. And, and it's, it's, it's giving the enemy and the spirits of lust the legal grounds to fight you in those areas. Now, there's a lot of you who've been struggling with masturbation for an extremely long time. Some of you have been dealing with this as far back as a child. Um, some of you would do well for a, a week or a month, and then you'll kind of feel the sexual tension rising up in you. And you, through your own free will, you choose not to deny your flesh. Now, let me tell you this, because there must be urgency. Each and every time you sin... Um, let's say if the rapture happened to be caught in the act of sin, regardless of how much you've prayed, how much you preached or how many times you went to church, how many Bible tracts you've passed out. It doesn't matter. Being caught in the very act of sin, you would be rejected by God. And the reason why people probably don't believe that is because they've been taught that grace and mercy and all of those things uh, God will allow you to slide in. This is why the Bible speaks on this. We shall work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The word is already letting us know we must have spiritual urgency. There must be urgency. And right now, the fear of God is not flowing in the church, the fear of God is not flowing in the lives of people. There's no urgency. People are lackadaisical. People are numb. That they're not taking the things of God serious. Let me tell you something. God hates sin. Now, I'm fully aware that there are people who don't struggle with this anymore. There's people that God has to deliver. God loves all of us. And I want many of you to understand that you can be delivered from this. This is a, a man and a woman problem. This isn't just a thing for men because there's women, and I sense it, that are struggling with this. Okay? There's people that are preaching the gospel and they're masturbating, and God is not pleased. There are people that's passing out tracks and they're masturbating. Amen. There's people that are pastors and and and, and prophets and, and evangelists, and they're still giving in to masturbation. Now, I must deal with the human element of it because we must understand that anything that God creates is for a reason and for a purpose. God does not create things for no purpose. Everything he creates on our bodies is for a purpose, okay? So I really want to really deal with this. Many of you, God is calling for you to rid yourself of worldly music and evil TV. And I keep saying this, and I'm going to teach on this because the Lord really gave me a powerful revelation yesterday about what we listen to and what we see. It plays, it plays a significant role in our relationship. Now, there's a lot of you who are single, and I'll deal with this. You feel like, well, if I masturbate, that would prevent me from committing fornication. It would re it would uh, release some of the sexual tension that I have. But what happens is that in the process of it, you find yourself trading sin for sin. And that's just where the enemy wants you. The more you deny your flesh, the stronger you become in the spirit. The more you deny your flesh, the more stronger you become in the spirit. And the enemy knows because these devils and evil spirits are monitoring you and they know your habits. They know your tendencies. They know what you like and they know what you don't like. That is why you must continue to pray against the spirit of lust because it is very aggressive. And it can really destroy your life and separate you from God and lead you down a dark path. And there are some of you. 
uh, this evil spirit of, 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 of masturbation has tormented you to where sometimes you've masturbated eight and nine and ten times a day. This is a reality for some people. I sense it. Some people are, are masturbating eight, nine, fifteen times a day. Some even more than that or even less. This is what the enemy does. He wants to control your life because he knows that he can't touch you un unless he really, really gets you. He really can't get you like you want to. Because God has a hedge of protection around us. However, if we sin, we now give these evil spirits the legal ground to enter into our lives. And sexual immorality is extremely demonic. It is not of God. But God loves you and deliverance is available right now. And some of you, you've, you've, you've uh, had other lust spirits injected into your life through other people that's why it is very careful to be careful who lay hands on you be careful who you are around because these spirits can really get off on your life through other people and there are some people that some of you are around they want you to fall they want to seduce you they want to tempt you they want you to fall they want you to have a weak moment there are some people that want to see you fall in a sexual immorality they want you to fall See, because the enemy loves to weaponize people. But many of you, you have to clean up your spirit and be careful what you watch. Now, I understand that those of you who are single, uh, it is it is extremely difficult. And, and I'm going to minister to that because I don't want to be so spiritually, um, so spiritually advanced that I can't identify with the struggle. I was I was single at one um, it's been a long time ago. However, I was single at one point in time before I got married and I understand the struggle because I've been there and I'm a living witness that God can take the desire from you. If you uh, have a desire to change, believe it or not, God can take the desire to masturbate from you. That's how powerful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I felt that one. That's how powerful God's presence is. If you want, if you want deliverance, oh, I feel this. If you want deliverance, he'll do it right now. Glory to God. Do you want to be free? Because if you want to be delivered, God will, God will set you free right now. He'll set you free right now to where you will never masturbate again in your life. I'm a living witness of this. God will do it. OK, got to do it. And I understand how difficult it can be because we have these emotions and these feelings. And if we'll be and I want this channel to be real, to deal with these issues, because those of us, we understand that masturbation gives extreme pleasure. It gives an extreme feeling that is out of this world and, and, and it can cause problems. And the enemy knows that, and that is why he has perverted it. Now, I don't know who this is for, but there'll be some of you who will come across this content. I'm led in my spirit to tell you to trash your demonic sex toys. Those of you who have sex toys that resemble that of a male, a male private part, trash it. And those of you who have uh, 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 sex toys that resemble that of a female private part, trash that demons are attached to that and it keeps you in spiritual failure and this is why the enemy wants you on porn he wants you on pornography to to drive and to to give that to charge up that lust some of you have watched programming and you end up masturbating afterwards that is why be very careful what you watch. Some of you have listened to music and you've end up masturbating afterwards. Some of you have been around people. That's why ask God to cover your mind and to cover your eyes. Though you can see, God will cover your eyes from the enemy as you're seeing. Glory to God. Because we understand that we need eyes to see, but God will cover your eyes. Now I'm going to take you deeper into my own life. Uh, when I was young, maybe 15 or 16, my uh, there was a particular family member who had a, a big, a huge 
army bag in their private closet. I found it and it was full of adult movies and it was full of pornography. And that opened up a door in my life. See that some of you, do these doors are open and it sent me down a dark path in my private life. But through the power of God, hallelujah, and understanding spiritual warfare and 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 deliverance. I was able to overcome the weapons of the enemy. You can overcome people. I'm a living witness. God can take this desire from you. Oh, glory to God. He can take it. If you let him in, tell God you have a problem. Be honest with him. He is our father. He loves you. Tell him, God, I have a problem with masturbation and I want to be free, but I keep falling. He will help you. If you have a gen a sincere desire, he will help you. Because you, you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. And the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God with the pulling down of strongholds. I love that scripture. Through God, can you overcome fasting and prayer? And the more them urges come up to, to masturbate, deny your flesh. Watch how stronger you will, you will become. We understand that. That in God ordained marriage, you are allowed to be intimate. You are allowed to release sexual tension in God ordained marriage of man, of husband and wife, man and woman. That's God's order. But there's some married people. There's some married people that have come across this content. You, you're, you're even struggling with masturbation. Marriage does not necessarily, marriage does not necessarily mean that you won't masturbate. The power of God is the determining factor. Marriage is powerful. God ordained marriage is powerful. It's holy un unto the Lord. The bed is undefiled. However, anyone in marriage that God delivered, it was because of the power of God. The power of God flowing in their, their lives. There's married people that are struggling with us. And there are some married people that, that have overcome it. God designed our bodies. God designed our bodies to have these, these, you know, these, uh, these, these feelings. But it's only for God ordained marriage and to create life. But the, the enemy has got in and perverted it again to that person that has sex toys, trash them, trash them because God ain't playing. OK, he loves you and he sent me and many others to be a warning that you can overcome. You can overcome this now. I'm going to deal with um, I'm going to deal with this because I realize uh, and I'm going to deal with the uh, women here. This is a very sensitive subject. Um, we understand that there are certain times of the month that you as women are particularly for those of you, uh, who, who, who would be, be ovulating. There are certain times of the month to where your body has been designed. It is preparing or giving you the signal that your, your body is fertile for birth. And sometimes you will deal with aggressive emotions and feelings of, 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 of sexuality. And even in that, it may be very difficult in your natural man. God can God can can strengthen you. He can empower you to not masturbate even through that. Because it's anything truly too hard for God. So I want to encourage women, particularly those of you who are single and you're trying to keep yourself, but certain times of the month, your 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 body is 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 just really, really aggressively needing a release of sexual tension. But now the spirit of the 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 spirit can overcome the flesh through your own free will to please God. Ask yourself, and even those of you who are married, ask yourself, what is more important, pleasing your flesh or pleasing God? Evidence of spiritual growth is when you are suffering in your flesh and you choose to, to suffer and be in position with God than to please yourself and be separated. Then, or do you now understand spiritual growth? Some of you need to pray over your dreams. The enemy is coming in your dreams. Some of you have had sexual dreams and the, 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 
the uh, 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 dreams you had, uh, uh, it caused you to feel lustful. These are areas that you must pray for because the enemy knows that some of you are not going to go out here and physically fornicate. So many of you, he has to fight you in your mind because there are just some men and some women, they have a sense of discipline to not go out there and physically do it. But they'll or those who are married not to physically uh, uh, engage in adultery, but they'll engage in adultery in their mind or they'll fornicate in their mind with this, which is just as dangerous. Because if you look at a person and you think about being with them, then you've already been with them. And it's a sin as well. God can keep your mind. And for men, God can keep your mind. If you have a hunger to change and to deny your flesh, this is for the men. God can keep you. It doesn't matter how attractive that woman looks to you. It doesn't matter how how their body is, is proportioned. God can keep you. He can keep your mind. He can keep your eyes. See, because the enemy uh, loves to weaponize People, the enemy will use a man to seduce a woman and the enemy will use a woman to seduce a man. Now, for those of you who are men like myself, uh, I'm fully aware that there are a lot of women. Not all. There's some women who love God, who adorn themselves, who dress appropriate. I thank God for y'all and I ask that you would pray for your sisters that they can be delivered and set free. But there are women who who allow the enemy to weaponize them, showing their cleavage, short shorts, tight clothes. I'm a living witness. God can keep your mind and he can keep your eyes. Though you though you see. He can keep your eyes through his power, and through his presence. People. And some of you men have kept those those images and you went home and, and masturbated off that and that's where the enemy wants you the enemy wants us distracted he wants us distracted in sin this is how he knows he separates us from god the enemy is obsessed with you losing your soul to hell oh he's obsessed with it i want to share this testimony this it was a testimony of a woman and this is why I always um, I always listen to a video about hell every day because it keeps me spiritually sober to be concerned about souls. Every day I listen to the most vile, the most worst hell testimony of someone that that uh, had a vision of hell or someone that dreamed about it. And they told the testimony to someone else. I look at one video a day to keep me woke, spiritually woke. To be concerned about souls because no one won't need to go there. We serve God because we love him. That should be our first, our first, our first love. But however, hell is real. Hell is real. There was one woman. Um, she was preaching. I think she was doing a whole lot in the church and she died, I think, in a car wreck. And she thought she was going to go up there to uh, with uh, heaven. And she was rejected by God because she kept masturbating. Her garments were 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 spotted was was spotted with sin, and the Lord could not uh, receive her, and she never repented of it. See, there's a lot of people who are going to be preaching and passing out Bible tracts and prophesying, and they're going to be rejected because of sin. People, sin is real. Masturbation can get you rejected by God. Willfully sinning after knowing the truth is dangerous, very dangerous to know the truth and not to do it. And the Bible speaks on that to willfully sin after having the knowledge of truth is extremely dangerous. There's a lot of people who are going to be shocked when they stand before God each and every day that you wake up. You have an opportunity to live holy and God will help his spirit. He will help you to live holy. The power of God. Through his son, Jesus, and his spirit will empower you to be holy, to live holy. He can take the desire from you. You have to invite him into your struggle. Invite God in and say, God, help me. I'm struggling. Please help me. He will deliver you right now. And, and, and as you're doing that, deny your flesh and feed yourself the things of God at a high frequency. In my house, I'm feeding myself worship music. When I cook, I'm feeding, I'm releasing worship music into the house. 
And I'm cutting down on that filth on TV. It doesn't matter if it's PG-13, TV-14. It's all filth that gets in your spirit, people. Some of you walk away from porn. Walk away from, from porn that charges masturbation. Walk away from, from, from sexual music. It charges masturbation. Walk away from these soap operas. It charges masturbation. Walk away. And men, when you see a woman out dressing in, in, in seductive clothing, don't took don't do four and five looks at them. The enemy wants you to look to get that stuff downloaded in your spirit. And there's a lot of you who think watching this content, this evil, sinful content, you think it's normal. The enemy will wait. And when you download that spirit of lust, if you're watching somebody fornicate on a reality show or you're watching someone on a movie fornicate, those images are in your spirit. It'll wait until a weak moment and it'll get you. If you're not careful, putting images in your mind, this is how the enemy gets us through our eyes and what we hear. Many of you disconnect from evil sexual conversations. Some of you who are having sexual conversations, sexual text messages, the, the enemy wants that stuff downloaded in your spirit and you end up masturbating. Men and women. It's not just a... It's not just a woman issue. It's not just a man issue. It is a it is a issue, period. It attacks both genders just the same. God don't want you doing that, masturbating 9, 10, 15 times a day with these sex toys. You can be delivered right now. I'm a living witness of that. You can be delivered right now. Right now, today can be your last day ever. You would never have to struggle again. God will take the desire from you. Because you know that whenever you engage in that demonic self-pleasure of masturbation, you find yourself feeling filthy and dirty and convicted. And you feel stripped and you feel spiritually naked. That's the presence of God that departed from you for that moment because of your sin. But genuine repentance will restore you back into the order of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that is why he sent his son Jesus. Because when you and I repent from our heart. After we sinned and we mean it from our heart, Jesus stands in the middle. And when God looks at you, he sees Jesus. And now forgiveness takes place because God, Jesus died for all of our sins. Everything that we, we could ever do. This is the danger of these grace, once saved, always saved preaching. It, 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 it makes people numb to spiritual urgency. People, holiness is real. Holiness is real, people. Being holy, it's, it is real. It matters. And this is what, what motivates me to allow God to use me like this. I'm not concerned about your feelings, you getting offended, because I'm concerned about your soul. I'm not concerned about an offering. I'm not concerned about somebody cash out in me. Uh-uh. I'm concerned about your soul, because I want all of you to reign with God. These issues must be addressed. And these religious systems are created by Satan to make you numb to, to, to sin and to make you numb, to keep you in darkness, to keep you, 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 you drugged up on that, that, that feel good word that has no power. We are needed. Those of you who, who have a desire for biblical truth, get up off your, your couch and get to work for the Lord and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ that people can be delivered. I refuse to have a channel that never deals with real issue. I refuse. Uh-uh. You come on this channel, I want you delivered. I want you set free because I am concerned about your soul. You don't have to masturbate four and five, nine, ten times a day. God will deliver you. And there are some of you, there are some of you who say, well, I'll just wait until it builds up. I'll, you know, masturbate every once a week or every two weeks. And uh-uh. God can deliver you, period. God can deliver you. And I know that, that, you know, and let's be real, those of us who are married, we can be intimate because we have spouses. We are able to release that, that, you know, that urgency to be intimate. And that would be deemed as somewhat as an advantage than those that are single. But because I've lived single life, I'm able to understand. I'm really able to understand because I've been there. I know what it's like to struggle. And God can free you. He can take the desire away right now if you want it. People, he can take it away. He can take it away. 
Because some of you have struggled for years. I mean, years, years. You don't have to be a prisoner. Don't be separated by God because of self-pleasure. If Listen, Jesus died for your life. His assignment was way greater than ours. You can overcome masturbation right now. Even being single right now. God will keep you. He'll, he'll keep you. The stronger when them urges come up and you feel your flesh and the enemy trying to seduce you to do it. Tell your flesh no. Begin to go and worship. Throw on some some. Begin to pray. Throw on some worship and praise music. God will keep you. He will keep you on your worst day. On your worst day. When you're ovulating, women, when you're ovulating and you feel like your body wants to go crazy, God will keep you. Men, when you feel lust rising up in you, rising up in you, God will keep you. Now, let's go a little bit deeper. Now, we must understand that God created, he, he created the orgasm for, for a purpose and for a reason. And it was God ordained marriage between husband and wife. And God, listen, God, seek God, seek God on us. God does not create these uh, feelings on the woman for no purpose. He does not create these things on a man for no purpose. Uh, uh. They're there for a reason. And it's up to you to seek God why it's there. But it's for God ordained marriage, not demonic sex, not that demonic stuff in marriage. It's for God ordained marriage. And God will lead and guide you on why it's there for. And he'll lead, he'll lead and guide you that's how the Lord works. We have to invite him in and he'll tell you what's wrong and, and what's right. Because many of you are struggling and I don't want you to carry this your whole life. Deliverance is available right now if you want it. It's available right now. God will set you free right now. The Bible says, and I keep feeling this, you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Let God in prayer, fasting, genuine repentance, a hunger for holiness, a hunger for repentance, a hunger for the things of God, fasting, denying your flesh. Stay away from the sexual content, sexual movies, soap operas, sexual books, trash that stuff. That stuff has no power. I know it's, 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 it's difficult. I know it's it's. It's 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 the challenge at first. Let that stuff go and focus on God. And the more you begin to to focus on God, those desires are destroyed. Isn't the presence of God powerful? Hallelujah. God will set you all the way free. There's people that's going to church right right now, but they're not free. There's people that's preaching, but they're not free. There's people that's prophesying, but they're not free because they have to allow God in their lives through free will. And there's people that say, God, free me. Take it from me. Do you really want to be free? Because if you do, God will take it from you. He'll take it from you. I don't care if it's been a year and you've had no release. God can be with you, period. There's people that have overcome this. I'm a living witness. God will keep you and take the desire away from you. Some of you uh, has have been doing this since you was a child. Some of you, it's been an issue and God can break it off your life. And this is where the enemy comes in at. Because the world and these doctors and the enemy will use these doctors and say, well, it's normal. Masturbation is normal. You know, it's it's and I see this from a lot. Masturbation is normal. Your body needs to do it. It helps you. It keeps you healthy. That is a trick from the enemy. And, and the devil is a liar. Don't let that worldly way of thinking fool you. See, that's how the enemy deceives people. He takes the thing that God says stay away from and he wants to compromise it. Don't listen to the enemy. Don't listen to the enemy. Don't let the enemy trick you into thinking it's normal, into thinking it's okay, because it's not. 
many of you guys have already told you to stop. Warning comes before chastisement. Many of you are keeping too many open doors in your life. I feel they close those doors. Don't let no woman talk lustful to you if you're trying to please God. Don't let no man talk lustful to you. And some of you, there's some people around you. They want you to fall. Oh, they want, they are, they want you to fall. There are some people, they know that you're trying to please God. They know that you're trying to do right. They want you to fall. They, I mean, they, they are obsessed with you going back to how you used to be. And some of you need to really pray and begin to intercede that the weapons of the enemy are being destroyed away from your life. And some of you are being monitored. Some of you evil spirits are monitoring you even in your sleep. For those of you who the enemy can't get you physically, he'll come in your sleep. And some of you have end up, uh, uh, the enemy comes in your sleep with the sexual stuff and, and you end up masturbating off of your dreams. See, these things are very aggressive. These little celestial demonic beings are not from earth. They're from other dimensions being cast out on earth. And the Bible speaks on that rulers of the dark wickedness in high places. These demonic entities are amongst us and only through the power of God can we overcome. And this is the one that's going to get a lot of people. Sexual immorality is going to get a lot of people. And that is why I say, if you're not at a ministry, if you're not on a YouTube channel that is dealing with this stuff, that talks about repentance, that talks about holiness, that talks about purity and being sanctified in the Lord, you need to run. Yes, we are to encourage. Yes, we are to talk about God will bless you. But somewhere in there, if you never hear repent and turn from sin, run. I mean, run for your life. And I mean that because they're an agent of Satan and they are allowing the enemy to use them to drug you up on that feel good stuff that will get you sent straight to hell. And hell is real. I told you, I listen to a hell video every day to keep me spiritually sober. Now, this thing is real. My biggest fear, my biggest fear is going to sleep in this world. That scares me. To go to sleep in this world and to get caught up in worldliness is extremely dangerous. The Bible says be sober, be vigilant, because our adversary is that of a lion seeking whom he may devour. The enemy is hunting souls. He needs souls. He needs them in hell. He needs them because he knows his days are numbered and he wants to take as many of you with him as he can. I want you to be delivered and set free today, right now, right now. Sex toys, trash them, trash them. Sex toys that stimulate your female private parts, trash them. Men, sex toys that stimulate your male private parts, trash them. Get rid of it. Evil music, evil TV, evil books, trash it. Evil conversations, trash it. Porn, trash it. Run, I mean, run for Run to God. Run from the stuff. It's filth. It's trash. Let me say this. What God has for you is greater than what the enemy has for you in this world. Let me say that again. What God has for you is greater than the evil pleasures that the enemy has for you. That's been in my spirit, and I'll probably teach that eventually as the Lord leads. What God has to offer you is everything. What the enemy has to offer you is nothing but trash. It's nothing but an apple full of poison and worms. It feels good, but it destroys you. It feels good, but it destroys your soul. And the enemy knows this. He has to get you to sin. He has to get you to sin. And this is where the enemy deceives people. Well, you know, masturbation is just my thorn in the flesh. You know, Paul said, you know, my thorn in the flesh. I just can't overcome. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm-mm. That's the trick of the enemy. That's the trick of the enemy. 
And that's why the Bible says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers, deceiving your own self. There's a bunch of people who are deceiving themselves that they're okay and they're not. People, masturbation is dangerous. Sin is sin. This thing is dangerous. And it's going to get a lot of people. You can overcome right now. And there are some people that the enemy has tricked into believing that they just can't live up to the standards of God. There's people who feel like they just can't live up to God's standards. They try and they fall again and they just figure they just can't do it. You can overcome right now. You can. I'm a living witness of this. You can overcome right now. The enemy wants to trick you into believing that you can't overcome. Do you know who you are? Do you? Some of you have no idea who you are in the Lord. That's why the enemy is fighting you. Because you have a powerful calling and assignment over your life. And the enemy has to keep you in sin. You, you can overcome right now. The, the enemy wants to condemn you. He wants you to walk into condemnation. If you genuinely mean it, God can deliver you right now. If you genuinely want to be delivered and you mean it, because he's not going to make you be free from this. You have to want it. Do you want deliverance? Because if you do it, you can be free right now. He's going to take it away right now. Let God in. Do you know evidence of true repentance? I mean, true repentance. I mean, earth shattering repentance to the Lord is when you say, God, forgive me and never go back. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody going to get delivered today.